Good morning everybody, how are we all doing? I am just about to head out to Brighton. I have a little appointment this morning with Penhelegans, which I am very excited about. I'm going into their store for fragrance profiling. I'm so excited, I love the brand so much and they invited me in, so I am just honestly so over the moon. I really don't wanna be late, so I am leaving now. So we are like leaving the house, so I can't like chat too much or show you my outfit, but I wanted to just say hi. How are you all doing? It's been a bit of a crazy week, so I haven't had the chance to pick up the camera yet, but I actually went and had my hair done yesterday and got a little fringy trim, which I'm very happy with. I really like it. And had like a toner and my roots done, and I just, I'm loving it. Makeup also went well as well today. I mean, the sun is out as well, which is also helping makeup, so it's just all going right today. I'm very happy. Let's go. Stop chatting, because I will actually be late. Just popped on a bit of Penhelegans Cairo for the occasion. This is my favorite Penhelegans fragrance that i found so far. And then the NARS Air Matte Lip Color in Surrender. I'm loving this at the moment. It's a really nice warm nude tone. I love it. Anyway, actually going now. Love you, bye. <laughs> morning slash afternoon in town i got to pick out a new fragrance from penhelegance which was really lovely of them so i'll show you that when i'm home i just had a little wander around got joe and the juice what else did i do where else did i go joe and the juice Base in K because I had some bits that I needed to pick up. I am forever running out of Oskia Renaissance Cleansing Gels. Pick that up. I'll show you what else I got again when I'm home. I completely forgot to vlog whilst I was in there, but my brain was very focused on do not forget the stuff you need to buy. I've run out of cleanser. Ryan has run out of cleanser. So my brain was very focused on that. I was also trying to film two TikToks simultaneously. So <laughs> brain's doing a lot of things today, but we are going to head on home see the little shrimp missing her um yeah that is that is about it that's what i'm up to this afternoon then i'm gonna edit this vlog also if anyone wants a playlist recommendation at the moment this is my current favorite especially kate's brother by Maisie peters i'm really enjoying i love Maisie peters she is so sweet yeah kate's brother is giving me real like stacy's mom vibes and i really like it but this whole playlist is great and i've been really enjoying listening to this one so it's probably nothing like groundbreaking it just got suggested to me on spotify it's probably a really popular one but yeah really enjoying that hello Shumbrella. hi hello so this is today's ootd which you may have seen already in some capacity if you watched my last video i believe it was my last video which was a like little zara haul and try on this is one of the outfits that I kind of put together. I think I wore different shoes. But I've got my Converse, some Zara jeans, which I love. They're like straight leg, not too wide, not too like tight, but they fit really well around the waist. There's a little bit of room for food, which I very much enjoy, but like you can really cinch it with a belt if you want. Today I just left it kind of like loose and more like boyfriend style. And then my jacket is also Zara. And then the top is one from Zara last summer that I got. And I was going to put it on my Depop because I didn't get to return it in time. Yeah, I saw it on the rail the other day and I was like, I feel like that would fit me now. So, yeah, it's really cute. I'm really happy with it. It works really nicely with the more wider style leg that is currently a thing. And I'm really enjoying, God, I didn't realise how much I didn't love wearing skinny jeans until these have become like more of a thing. I'm honestly loving life. And then I've just got my YSL sunnies. I was going to wear my Prada ones, but I needed to see to drive because we're not about running people down and then i've got monica vinader little earrings that i always wear and then this pendant is new from monica vinader it's not too dainty not too chunky little pendant on it is really nice it just adds like a nice bit of interest to the outfit but without being too much so yeah that is my little outfit of the day this is my new little photo station by the way it gets like the perfect amount of light so i just have a random mirror in my kitchen right now and we're all just gonna have to deal with it okay just gonna quickly show you 
what I picked up whilst I was in town. If I can ever get the bow open. <laughs> there we go. Start off, they actually have so many new fragrances. Since I last went into a Penhelligan store, they have Halfetti Hair Mists, which I'm so excited about. I love Halfetti. It's such a gorgeous, really deep, rich fragrance. So really happy that they have it in Hair Mist. I also saw that they do it in body oil, hand wash, hand lotion. That is the dream. And then I literally smell every single fragrance pretty much and this and constance were my two favorites i have constance on my wrist oh my god it's unreal and i had to pick between but the favorite is just lovely and really soft and like it's really skin like which sounds so strange to say it feels like a very spring summer appropriate one whereas constance feels like more of an autumn winter fragrance so maybe one that i will ask for for my birthday oh my god it's delicious i'm gonna ask for it for my birthday but this is the box for the favorite and one of the things that is also really special about the favorite in addition to how beautiful it smells it also looks like this oh my god i can't it is so beautiful the penhelligan's bottles are just gorgeous anyway like they always come with a little something at the top of the bottle this one is really extreme vibes so, though oh This is going to be my holiday scent for sure. Oh my God, it is delish. Delish. Thank you so much to the Penhelligans team for inviting me down. It was so special. And then I went to Space NK and picked up. I got some stuff for Ryan because he had run out of cleanser and moisturizer. Where is moisturizer? There it is. He's a real classic in terms of skincare. So yeah, I picked those up for him. And then I also got... A restock of my Oskia Renaissance cleansing gel because I've run out and I'm really enjoying the Emma Hardy cleansing gel but I'm getting through it very quickly so I just wanted to have this for when I'm done I really want to use up like I like the Emma Hardy one like I said in my not my last video the video before but yeah I'm really happy with my skin at the moment it's looking still looking so good like yesterday I just wore a tinted moisturizer and I didn't put concealer on and I was like this is I haven't done this in years like actually maybe about three years yeah i'm very happy with my skin at the moment the ren glow tonic is really doing bits i'm really enjoying the ren eye cream and then the ever calm oil so good so really loving those the emma hardy cleanser is really nice as well it's very thick though and if i just wanted like a light cleanse sometimes it feels a bit too heavy so um, i am missing this in my routine but the Emma Hardy is lovely so I really want to use it and just like I think it is doing good things for my skin as well because it's very like it feels nourished at the moment and once I have cleansed the skin it never feels like dry so it is a great one but if I just need a light cleanse I'll probably dip into this a little bit and then I have two bits from Summer Fridays so we have the Light Aura Vitamin C and Peptide Eye Cream really wanted to try this apparently it's very good if you are quite dark under your eyes it's quite a good one for like use in the morning yeah it's got that kind of peachy tone to it which helps to like correct dark under eyes so yeah i'm excited to try that out also picked up the cloud dew oil free gel cream just for when my kate somerville moisturizer runs out and this sounds really nice and light which will be good for summer for me because i do have fairly oily skin it's so strange it can feel so dry straight after cleansing but throughout the day i do get fairly like you can see i obviously haven't powdered since this morning you can really see like the oils coming through we're not even in peak summer yet people so i wanted to get like a lighter moisturizer i'm going to get in the office now and blast away some emails because i haven't looked at my emails in a few hours and <laughs> scary throw this footage onto my laptop all of that stuff and then hopefully i might get a walk in this afternoon if i am speedy
<laughs> I have the tripod ready. I am just sorting through my various little bits for holiday. So I thought I would kind of document the process with you. We can try on some outfits together and I can decide what's coming with me for sure. I have lots and lots of outfits mapped out. I've just gone through my notebook and I like to map out basically how many days in there, how many outfits I'll need. So including spares, maximum 14 outfits but if i can rewear like i would ideally like to do that if possible i'm not like one for dropping my dinner down myself or anything like that so normally as long as i'm not like sweaty which this is the concern on holiday because you actually don't know but there is the potential to reuse outfits and save space and not overpack and all of that kind of thing so that is my kind of thinking around it is look at the maximum i'll need get those outfits and then whittle down because if there's like for example one of the outfits just needs very specific shoes and a very specific bag and all of that kind of thing and it actually means I'm packing and loading more into the suitcase than necessary then that outfit can come out and I might just rewear a different one or find another outfit that would maybe combine with like one of the shoes and bags from the other outfit and then I don't have to like pack as much. I've just been loading things onto the rail so far. We've got like a few of my like everyday bits here but then some of it is from my Zara order that I did. So we've got this really lovely little coal which will definitely be one of my outfits that I have to wear and like throw on over like a swim kind of set if we go to the beach or something and maybe it's a bit windy and I do need something to like shield me like say I wear it's hot when we go there and I just wear the shorts with like my swimsuit but then later in the evening I can throw the jumper on if it gets a bit chilly. May is always a tricky time for going away because you're not quite the height of like hot summer yet so it's not always like guaranteed warmth 24 7. I've got 10 outfits there alone so I just need a few more onto the rail and then I can try everything on and then if there's things that I might actually know then I'll I'll tweak. Also I forgot about these two so this is a really cool shirt from where is this from? I always forget free people I really love free people stuff for summer. So this is actually on my Depop at the moment. I'm gonna save it off before this video goes live because if someone buys it, I'll actually be really sad at this point. But I thought this shirt would go really nicely just over a swimsuit, if, like we're on the beach or something. It's got a really long back, but it's short at the front, which I think is kind of cool. And then I've got this cold, which I didn't love last year, but I think for like Greece when it's really hot and we just like going for a little walk, be a real vibe. So yeah, it's like trousers on the bottom and then this nice like floaty top and it works really well with like the color palette that we've got going on as well so yeah i think this is going to be a real vibe okay so i think these trousers are where's the wall there is i think these trousers are going to be a bit long on me can i take them up can i roll them oh no we can roll okay okay this is ignore the fact that i've got a bra on underneath just like a soft bra but oh my god so cute and actually the roll up, I don't think it looks that bad. I need to like inspect close up in a mirror, but I don't think it looks too horrendous. I did think that this top was gonna sit like over it so you wouldn't be able to see. It's actually more cropped than I thought. No pockets, damn. What am I meant to do with my hands when I'm anxious? I really love this. I probably wear this like whilst I'm in the UK as well. Why was this on my Depop? Wow, what? If anyone's wondering what that vocal was, <laughs> that's my brain thinking too fast. Let me to actually be able to speak. I'm editing this video myself this week and uh, <laughs> I'm actually worried because I'll just put anything in the videos. I really rely on Lauren to like veto things. Like, no, you can't say that. You'll look insane. It's gonna go in the suitcase. Where's my phone? 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 Okay, so. The process is, once I have tried this on, obviously with you guys, I always forget to watch footage back. So the videos are kind of useless to me, but what is really helpful is I take a photo like this, just one, don't have to look cute, don't even have to have makeup on if you don't want to, but then I save that photo to a folder on my phone. I've done it before, but I've just laid them out on the bed. So like this, and that was very helpful, but sometimes I think it's cute to see it on as well and if I'm trying things on like this anyway I'll take a photo of it on just so I can see but yeah otherwise throw it on your bed throw it all together take a photo but the trying it on before is always like elite and helps me pack minimally because I can actually see if there's stuff that can be reused a little bit easier but also just allows you to iron out any creases I like to do it at night when I'm like not feeling my best or if I'm really bloated because 
then if the worst happens when I'm like traveling or say I eat something in a restaurant that my stomach doesn't agree with and I get really bloated, then my outfits work with that. So do it when you actually feel like trash, uh, if you can mentally take that basically. Yeah, next I'm gonna try on this, gonna put my swimsuit on so I can see. Just realized I did not blend this well this morning. Apologies for that. Swimsuit is on. This is going over there. So <laughs> this is what it just looks like when it's like not tied, a little bit wild. You can either button it up so it's like that or you can leave it open. I think leaving it open is nice. It's a great food baby hider. Wow, yeah, I love this. Okay, so this is the shirt. Could even look really cute with now this, this could go very wrong. Okay, I had a look at this in my kitchen and I do like it. I think it's a lot of like material with like the whole shebang like this. However, if we do get there and there's like some freak cool weather, this could be like a great option for keeping me like covered. If it is a bit like breezy or chilly, I really hope not, but you just never know. Trousers and swimsuit also look really nice together as well. So I think it's a good combo that can be worn in a few different ways. And I really like that. So I think both pieces definitely need to go in the suitcase. I also think these trousers will work really nicely with like the white shirt, like nice and oversized, but the white shirt will also work really nicely just with the swim costume. So you can see we're like building combos. I'm very happy with that shirt. That's definitely going in there. I'm just keeping the trousers and white shirt aside for a second because I feel like I might want them for more trying on bits. I don't know if I need two like throw on shirts but I know I really like this one and this might actually be a good one to set aside for wearing it to the airport with a set of cycle shorts. And then the shirt also works as a great backup in case my stripey shirt gets dirty. Okay, this look is really cute. However, it does ride on whatever the weather is doing the day that we go, because what I might have to do is wear like my Adenola green set if the weather is like very, very cold the morning we go. I'm definitely gonna want a jumper for the way back. So this is a bit of a TVC one. I might wait until closer to the time as to, wow, what's going on here? As to whether this comes in my case with me. Then we have these shorts from in the style i wore these so much last summer i absolutely love them they work so beautifully with just like a plain black swimsuit they'll work really well with my bikinis i've got my trusty black bikinis to hand here and then i also have my <laughs> fendi swimsuit which i just love so much i'll probably take the matching visor as well because it's just such a vibe and it hasn't left the country yet so i think it deserves that these shorts i would like to pair with either the giant white shirt which you've already seen or there's this gorgeous one that i have from Zara, I picked it up a few weeks back. Got this really lovely embroidery on glaze. So yeah, it's just thinking to wear it open. I can either have a bikini on underneath or this swimsuit. Though I don't know whether to just go for like a plain white shirt. Like I have my ASOS boyfriend one and I think it might be a bit more versatile. Like I could wear that more over like a dress like this. We'll see, but this I will wear so much in like the UK summer anyway, because it's lovely. Okay, then we have these blue shorts from Zara, which are part of the set. Last summer I spent so long rolling them up because these were like a real dad short vibe and this summer I'm really enjoying like a whole dad short vibe so no rolling up needed this year but this is one of those sets where I think there's going to be minimal crossover with other items but I'm kind of okay with that because I just really love it on its own and it's quite nice sometimes to not feel like you're wearing the same thing every single day. I'm just that kind of person that really likes variety so yeah it's nice to have a couple of outfits that feel different by the way if this is so scatty just know that this is what it feels like to be inside my brain i've actually tried to film multiple packing videos and they i've never let them go live <laughs> because i really feel like people will judge the way in which my brain works like it's so all over the place yeah okay yeah oh very nice okay yeah i think we can maybe ditch the misguided shirt though the misguided shirt would look nice with like a plain black dress and it's longer so it would like cover and i'm very weird about like the layers and where the hems of things meet i have some like cream pants which this could look nice with just to give us a little bit of variation from the same pair of black trousers like proper like genie pants i don't know if they'll go with this to be honest but i thought they'd look really nice either just with a black swimsuit 
or with like my black bikini or with my Fendi swimsuit. So just like using my swimsuits as bodies as well. Yeah, just a nice like throw on if like I just want to be chill for an evening and not really like care. Very, very comfy. These actually would make a great plain outfit situation. Then we have this little two set which you will have seen in a previous video. Just a nice easy one don't even have to think about it that's why i like two sets cohorts whatever you want to call them so much because you really don't have to think about what you're wearing when you get dressed you're just kind of like ready to roll okay so apparently i put this on wrong last time i'm really interested to compare because i have no idea how i did that double checked it this time i've looked at where the label is i'm definitely putting it on right so yeah how did i manage that like i don't even i don't know i don't even know i really love this my boobs could just shrink back down to their regular size before I go away. That would be ideal, but I might be asking for a miracle at this point because it's been like two weeks now. Okay, this swimsuit, that's going in the suitcase because that is worth its weight in gold. Okay, so love that for me. I just wanted to also check this set with a pair of shorts. I can then do this kind of combo and I can use any of my swim costumes under this. So this is like, this is obviously El Clasico in terms of vacays shirt and shorts with like a bikini underneath none of this is groundbreaking but this is like the least <laughs> this is the lowest of the low this is also a really nice little combo i don't want to get my legs out as well so yeah defo for this shirt and defo these trousers yeah really like that okay before we move on to evening stuff this is my last kind of day outfit i mean i think i have more than enough combinations for day like i think i've probably got about two weeks worth of combinations I really like this combo very cute it looks just really cute on like the shorts on their own with the bikini i really like that yeah i think this is really cute for beach like this wrap around my waist and then if i get cold i can put it on i can do a white shirt oh i really like that that's so cute just a really nice like throw on a little fit yeah really love that love so those are going in the suitcase. So then we have the Zara set. So I love this. I just think the cut of it is really great. It feels nice and light as well. It's got pockets. Oh yeah, this, I, I lived in this last summer and I think this summer will be no different. 15, 16, 17 combos. <laughs> but, in outfits 11 we can definitely whittle that down huh, how do you choose but this is good because this i can go through and like favorite my favorite looks so i know i defo want to take this one the libra struggling to decide in me has like really kicked in but then we need five evening outfits so defo going with this white dress i love this dress it's so lovely so this is definitely coming with me orange dress what do we think i've paired it with the tan flats again i think this dress works really well with the tan flats it's all pretty yeah this one's lovely it's a little bit see-through but i'll sort that so the white dress also just so lovely a great one for if you're feeling bloated as well because how would you know it'd be so lovely for a very like warm evening again works really well with sandals works well with all of the accessories that i've already picked out okay so i think i'll probs wear like the all saints sandals with this or i don't know a different pair of sandals because i'm not loving the tan flat so much with this but i just wanted to kind of get a feel for what it looked like anyway just in case yeah i love this dress so this is my reformation dress you will have seen this in my wedding guest dress edit i like the simplicity of the shape of it i think just suits me okay dress of dreams which i always have nightmares about ironically in terms of flashing people but this is just one of my favorite dresses in my wardrobe i just think that again that satiny kind of finish with a really simple but flattering kind of cut works very well on me this will just be absolutely glorious on a holiday so i'm really excited to take this one away with me i just always think in terms of like squares on the old instagram grid these two are just gonna be so gorgeous together I'm trying to keep this very pg right now because i don't have the covers on but lots of you have seen this one before so i'm gonna make it quick am i going to be too hot in this in greece in the evening so obviously i wouldn't wear this in the day in the evening for dinner will i be too hot in this 
I just don't know, like the evenings still get a bit chilly, like spring, so like I've been before this time of year and I was a bit chilly, but it was, was it Santorini? I can't remember where it was. Or do I save this for like UK summer evenings out? Because this is definitely UK summer appropriate, sadly. Or do I just ditch the blazer and just have it just for like a photo slash if it is actually cold and then I can obviously cover myself, not in the way that I am right now. And then I can just wear the sparkly bralette and the trousers. What do we think? Or do I go with a little pearly option? This one needs to be worn at some point this summer. It's been sitting in my wardrobe for a long time. It's so beautiful. Or our gorgeous, gorgeous highlights a green dress. It definitely works with like the evening material palette we've got going on, but not necessarily with the colour palette. I actually look like a sack of highlighters. So of course, my H&M order has just arrived literally as I put my clothing back on. I only picked up a couple of things. I just saw these sandals and I thought they were really sweet. Oh, they feel nice. That's nice. They look like they were gonna feel really rough. I'll do a little try on in my mirror. And then with this, this wasn't necessarily a holiday. I just really liked it. And I have a black version of this, which is from Mango, I think, which I wear all the time, every summer. And I thought that the nude version might be really nice to have in my wardrobe. I've got this in a size small. Is it see-through? Maybe a little bit, that's not ideal, is it? I'm not in love with the fit of this. Not my fave. I think the shoes are really cute though. Yeah, I'm not in love with the fit of this, just like around my chest. It's not, it's just not the best in general. My one that I have from Mango is like a thicker knit. It's a little bit heavier, so it falls a little bit more nicely around areas that you'd ideally want to be a bit more forgiving, whereas this is just not forgiving in any way, shape or form. So this is definitely going back, but the shoes are lovely. What do we think? Back in my comfies, where I belong. I know jeans are not actually comfortable, but I just really wanted to be in like a t-shirt and just like cash today. Not changing outfits a million times, but here we are. So I've got a lot of outfits to whittle through now. I need to get this all like folded and nice. Anything that needs to be altered. There's a pair of trousers that I might try and take up a bit. I need to do that. Roll, fold again. Roll, 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 stick in the suitcase. So that's as technical as it really gets around here. This I might fold twice, just because the legs are quite wide on that trouser. So excited to wear that. looked through my folder I've taken a couple of bits out that I'm just like not 100% in love with like I was like what am I actually going to reach for which of these outfits do I love the look of and these bits were a bit like meh I've got like free space for underwear and things like that for when I want to put that in which is great and then I've put my dresses over this side and actually this is still a really good amount of space for the fact that I'm taking very minimal in terms of footwear then my skincare and then my makeup and I would obviously just take less makeup than I normally would anyway. Then I'll need travel adapters. I might take the air wrap, but I might not. We'll see, but there, there's definitely enough space for the air wrap there. So yeah, I'm thinking that I've nailed it. So yeah, that suitcase plus this will probably be my hand luggage, I reckon. Lovely. Good morning, everybody. I thought I would just check in with you whilst I make myself some breakfast. I have been to the gym this morning. I also just filmed a quick, very quick fire like Q&A makeup application video. Just got a load of stuff in my eye. So what is going on with my hair, honestly? Yeah, just changed my outfit quickly and got a load of stuff in my eyes. Now I've just cried half my makeup off, which is good. So yeah, I almost forgot to check in with you guys this morning. I feel like I need to say I do wear something that isn't this Adenova set, but I am actually going to spend the afternoon sorting out my wardrobe room and seeing as I filmed all my content I don't need to look cute anymore so very thankful that the bit of fluff that lodged itself in my eye did so after I'd made all my content very happy about that just making myself some granola very exciting I know but yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's video let me know if you enjoyed the like pack with me like 
real time kind of vibe because if not I can do it as more of like a styling vid if you just want to see all the outfits without me kind of deciding I'm happy to tweet or let me know if you'd rather never watch a pack with me ever again also can you guys let me know if you would like to see like a what I wore on holiday I know you've obviously seen me pack but let me know if you would kind of like to see anything around that yeah other than that I have very few things to update you on. I had a very wholesomely uneventful weekend. I got to do godmother duties, so I went and watched my goddaughter ride a pony around a farm. Adorable. Loved it. Loved every second. But yeah, other than that, I really didn't do a lot. Cooked some yummy food yesterday, did laundry slash washing. If you're from the UK, I don't know why I called it laundry. Cleaned my house, so yeah, that is, uh, that's my life right now. It's just wholesome boring stuff hopefully a bit more interesting this week because i'm going to london let me know if you want to see like a weekly vlog of that but other than that that is going to be it for me for this video so i hope you guys have enjoyed it and i hope you're all having a great day and i'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye